All right, so this movie solves and answers about nine-tenths of the world's questions. Porn. That is right. Don John. I actually really like this movie. Um, you know, most of the, there are two uh, people on here who, uh, well, one person on here that might not agree with me with this review, but, um, you know, everyone else on here, I think, would agree with this movie. It is really good. The directorial debut of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. If you don't know who Joseph Gordon-Levitt is, who the heck are you? I mean, seriously, everyone knows Joseph Gordon-Levitt by this point. He's been in Batman as that one guy who was supposed to be Robin and stuff like that. It's like, it's like he found the Batcave at the end of Dark Knight Rises. It was total bullcrap. And then he was in the movie uh, Premium Rush. was about bikes. It was really good, too. Um, but no, this is the directorial debut. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, directs and stars in the movie Don John. So basically, uh, Don John, which is played by Co Joseph Gordon-Levitt, is this guy who watches absurd amounts of porn every day, and he ends up starting to date Scarlett Johansson. Let me rephrase that. Joseph Gordon-Levitt plays this guy named Don John, who is a normal, everyday guy who starts dating Scarlett Johansson. Now you may laugh. Alright, um, again, it puts a lot of relevance on the subject, in my opinion, and it's one of those things where it's like, you take your, uh, girlfriend or, or whoever you're dating at the time to this movie, and you're like, he's not wrong. Uh, it's like, you're just sitting next to, uh, he says this one thing, it's like, yeah, he's, he's not wrong. It, it's because he breaks down the subject is like on how porn is better than real sex apparently uh, it, it puts a lot of more relevance into the movie and it actually feels more realistic than any other type of dramedy or anything like that that has been out there or, or anything I've reviewed about time and that was a very realistic movie even though it incorporated time travel this, however, goes on the fact of a womanizer who, again, watches absurd amounts of porn. Porn. And he gets all these chicks, and then Scarlett Johansson's character finds out he is watching porn, and then he's like, no, it's, it's, it's something for my friends on my email. is I don't do that type of stuff. So he tries to hide the porn from Scarlett Johansson and everything like that. So... This whole movie, it's it's really good. It has some great context to it, and it has a very good relevance that a lot of us guys can relate to. I mean, seriously, it's it's more of a guy movie than a dating movie or anything like that. Of course, if you're if you have a girl, if you're dating a girl that actually likes these type of movies, then I more power to you. I it's uh, it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, let's see this movie. And she watches it, and it's like, yeah, it's okay. Then it's like, you know, you know it's, it's not your type of movie. It's my type of movie. Or if you both like the movie simultaneously at the same time, it's just like, good, good. More power to you and everything. Um, but, yeah. It's a great debut as far as a directorial standpoint for Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He is a great actor in this movie. Scarlett Johansson did great in this movie. Everyone in the movie did great. There was only one character in there who was uh, supposed to be uh, Don John's sister, the character. About 98% of the movie, you just see her like this. That's it. It just her text in a way, 98% of the movie. And it, th there's one scene where she lifts up her head, and you think this this is going to be a speaking point for her. She does speak, but it's like it's going to be relevant and everything like that. It's relevant, yes, but it's like, why are you in here? You only say that one line, and that's it. It's, why are you here? I mean, seriously, it's... Other than that... 
the rest of the movie is really good. I recommend anyone to see it. And just like Jeremy Johns, it is a extremely good time for us guys and stuff like that. Or if it ends up being a dating movie, go ahead. But yeah, it is an extremely good time. No alcohol required. Yeah. But, um, you know... Go ahead and see it if you like. It's already on DVD. It just came out um, yesterday on New Year's Eve. And, um, you know, go ahead and see it if you like it. Put it down in the comments. If you've already watched it and all that sort of stuff, tell me what you thought of it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, see ya.